Hi everyone, it's Mike here, back with another Art Journal page start to finish video. Today we're looking at Journal 52's Week 25 prompt, which is questions and answers. Today I'm working in the Strathmore Multimedia Art Journal, and I'm going to cover both pages with indigo blue, black gesso. I knew where I was going with this art journal page, which is an absolute miracle for me, because most of the time I don't have a clue. So, for the purposes of this page, I wanted a really deep black background. So, I am going to apply a couple of coats of the black gesso to make sure I get a real nice, even and matte coating. And I will be leaving the white border all the way around the page to act as a frame, which is a nice contrast to the actual black. And again, this video isn't that long, it's only about nine minutes, so I'm not speeded up too fast. I think I've just sped it up to twice its normal speed this time. And I will be heat setting the page between coats just to make sure that it is nice and dry. Okay, all nice and dry now, and I've got the color depth that I really wanted for the black background on the page. And I'm just going to take a piece of scrap white cardstock, and I'm going to tear out an uneven circle shape to act as a mask on my page for my next step. So this is the Ducras Artiste acrylic paint and it's just white, just plain old white. And all I'm going to do is just to add some water to it with a spritzer bottle. If you noticed, I've just splashed all the side of the page, but that's okay. I'm just going to wipe it off the side of the journal, but I'm going to leave the white tiny, tiny splatters on the page because actually that's exactly what I'm going to do next. So all I'm doing with the watered down white acrylic is creating some water droplets and some splatters on the page using a very small brush and the end of my finger. And I hope to create what looks like a starry sky. And then of course, once I'm done, I'm gonna give it a real quick heat blast with the heat tool to make sure that all that acrylic paint is nice and dry. So there we go, there's a little bit of a close up of my starry night sky and I have left a big patch so I can write in my question. And I'm going to be using a Signo white gel pen to do just that. And for me, there is only one real question left for science to answer. And that is, are we alone in the universe? So I'm addressing my question to probably the only person that knows.
and that's just about it for this page a quick and simple but I think quite effective page and I'm just going to put the date in using the white pen because I've already signed it on behalf of the entire planet earth but one thing that I did do after I'd finished I thought it needed just something else so if you look at the photographs at the end and I've done a little bit of an extended preview one of those little white splatters has had a little bit of a makeover see if you can spot it well, that's it for me for this page if you like the video please give it a thumbs up so YouTube know that you want to see more from me and if you haven't subscribed already you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video bye for now